Hey everybody, it's Brent, and I am here with the stars of the brand new film, Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. It drops in theaters on June 12th. Got Thomas Mann and RJ Kyler. Guys, what is going on? You know, life. Just sitting yeah, in a screening room. So much. Uncomfortably yeah. in front of all of the chairs. Right. I know, we're in other chairs in front of more comfortable chairs. These made too much sense. For those people who don't know, tell me a little bit about the film you guys made, because it's incredible, and I'm a little upset at both of you. I got to watch it on Friday, and sat in a dark room here at the space, and just cried by myself. Oh, nice. And then by yourself? went home. And at least it was by yourself, so no one could yeah, judge Yeah, no, none of you. these people could yeah, judge me. You guys. Uh, just explain a little bit, what's Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl about? Well, it's a story of this kid, Greg Gaines. It's his last year in high school. He's a senior, and you know he's like a young filmmaker, and he makes these homages to classic cinema with his friend Earl. We've been making them for a few years now. They suck. I mean, they're terrible. So he's very comfortable in his own world until his mom forces him to befriend this girl in his class who's diagnosed with leukemia. And so it's just about this like awkward sort of reluctant friendship that becomes something much more genuine and real as she's sort of dealing with the illness. It was a book first before it was a movie. Yes, kids, things can be books. You can read words. They're very entertaining. You should probably do that. Uh, did you guys read the book? Please say no. Uh, I did. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> a, did. Yeah, that's a good thing. I definitely, definitely did. Yeah. A load of the guy who wrote the screenplay, Jesse Andrews, also wrote the book. Was he on set, kind of watching you guys, yeah. or giving you some guidance? Yeah. Jesse was very hands-on, you know? Um, he, it was certain stuff that we needed to change, and he would change it, and we would get the feel for it, and it's like, oh, that works. My thing was, you know, trying to keep the greatness of the book in the screenplay. I didn't want to mess it up any, because the Earl in the book is like, oh. So I needed the Earl in the movie to be like, oh, oh you know? <laughs> Damn. What's the most helpful stuff that a director can come to you guys as actors and kind of give you? Because there's definitely different directorial styles. What's something as an actor that you really like a director to kind of do for you guys? Trust us. Like, literally. It's a lot of trust, because Alfonso really adores actors, and is, he trusts us with our craft, so he doesn't try to be that, okay, you have to do it this way and that way and this way. Even if, it's, even if our lines have to be specific to what's on the page, you know, he lets us just be natural and just us, you know? I don't think I could have given the same performance if I felt like Alfonso was like constantly quizzing me, like, what's your character thinking here? Or, you know, right. he just makes you feel like everything is your idea and just wants you to feel comfortable. Word. One of the big points in the film, y'all's friendship or your mm -hmm. coworker relationship, right. uh, is that you guys make these movies, which is sort of homages, parodies of these classic films. Basically, what's the rundown of how those get made? The first day of shooting, we, we just kind of knocked like five of them out, just went around in a van with a bunch of costumes, and these two guys, Ed and Nate, were sort of in charge of that, so they had their own sort of feel to it. Really, it was very guerrilla style. It felt like just making something with your friend, and uh, kind of like, I mean, I did a lot of that sort of stuff in high school, and it really reminded me of that time. Yeah, I think that's the part of the film that's definitely gonna resonate with a lot of the YouTube creators, is that so much of what we do as like young filmmakers trying to like learn the craft is, let's grab a bunch of costumes, go into somebody's car, go out to the park, and go shoot a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. basically what they are, except they're yeah. too afraid to put them on YouTube, you know? And that sucks. It sucks. It sucks quite a bit. What's one piece of advice that you can give other young people just to help inspire them to continue to create or just push themselves? I mean, just that, yeah. Just keep creating whatever you like to do. Just keep doing it. It's so easy now to make, if, you, if you're like a young filmmaker or a young anything, just get whatever your, share whatever your creativity is and don't be afraid. That's all I can say. Originality creates longevity. Those are two big words and I know you're proud of me right now. I feel like you crushed it. That's yeah. great. That's a t-shirt. I can make that a t-shirt.